right. Sherry, hello. Welcome. I'm okay. Jose from Brazil, hello, welcome. I forgot my gloves. Kevin, hello. I'm all right, how are you? Welcome. Bill, hello. Roberto, hello. Shields is here. Oh no. Oh, I thought I wasn't sure how much longer they were going. I did notice them streaming. But I felt good and I wanted to get out there again. It is a nice night. I didn't take my gloves today. It's a little bit warmer. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. We shall see. Kaiser, hello. Connie, hello. We are by the East River. I like to start out here sometimes just because of how peaceful it is. Even though we are right by the rush hour FDR traffic. <laughs> Good evening, Spencer. The Bobsta, hello. Langston, hello. Ron, aren't I tired from the morning walk? Well, what you didn't see is I actually, I actually also walked essentially the same amount during lunchtime. Um, and I recorded a regular video at that time. So this is kind of a, a third walk for me. Ah, Time Traveler always writes interesting. It's very interesting. The Time Traveler always writes interesting. Some, these cars are all coming to a standstill as they approach that area on the FDR. Get people to honk their horn, ah. It wouldn't be hard, I'll tell you that. It would not be hard to do. Sarah, good evening. Thank you. Okay, hello, Enrique, hey. Appreciate your support on PayPal. I know you've been helping out a lot there. Ah, this pine tree is very low. Have I seen a Lamborghini Aventador? I have only, I've seen a Lamborghini, but I couldn't tell you for sure if I saw an Aventador. Luxan, hello. Adrienne, hello. Jose, yes, the city's really beautiful right now. Tug, good evening. Yes, we are walking. It is a good evening to walk. I didn't want to miss out. Tomorrow and Friday is going to be rainy, and it's always difficult to move around in the rain. But I still like to get out there, so I might try to. Well, I catch the Energizer Bunny. They are very hard to catch. I haven't seen those commercials in like 20 years, wow. This on the left, this is the Waterside Club, I believe it's called. It's a venue for catering and other things. Uh, I actually happened to go to a friend's bar mitzvah here in the mid 90s. But yeah, it's essentially a permanently docked boat. That's also a restaurant. Queen ASMR, hello. Russell Glarum with the $2 super sticker. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. James, raining in North Carolina. Yeah, I think that's what's coming up here, maybe. Leah, how many miles a week do I walk on average? I'm not sure. I know last week, before the saunter, that I did on Sunday, if any of you saw that, I averaged 22,000 steps. So, I don't know how many miles that is. I'm assuming five to six, if not more. Alareza, good afternoon. Evening now, almost. No, it is evening here, yes. Alexander, hello. Kevin, Fitbit. Nah, I'm using a Galaxy Watch. Will I be taking you to the new Penn Station? Yeah, it looks like they've done a lot of work there. I know part of it seems to be open, but it's more for the uh, back end of the Long Island Railroad and some of the trains. Jason, I'm not sure. Artum, hello to you in Rysia, hello. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I'll be able to catch it from. I might do a live stream somewhere, but we, not, we might not catch the ball from where I am, but I, I wanna try to. Bats, hey, Slay Bunny, welcome. Sally from Michigan, hello. Slay Bunny, I'm doing all right. I'm doing what they call an active rest. <laughs> so I think if I just didn't walk for a week, my left leg would be fully better. But if I keep walking, it might take about a month for you guys. 
John, just popped up in your notifications. Thank you for stopping by and listening to your notifications. K Rose, thank you. I appreciate that. MK Ambient Music, hello, good evening. TAG, thank you in Houston for coming virtually to New York. From <laughs> Gary from Missouri, what happened to my leg? Um, if you noticed my stream from Sunday, the 27th, I did the Great Saunter, which is a perimeter hike around Manhattan, a coastal hike, so, so to speak. And it's a 32 mile hike. I haven't gone that far in a long time in a walk, so ever actually. So that was a, a feat. That's what, a, that's what I'm talking about. So my left, my left leg is still a bit under the, under the weather, if you could say that about a leg, but it's better. It's still better. I've been sitting on a, on a hard ball all day to try to release that muscle that's spazzing out on me. Long head of my left biceps femoris. Hannah, good evening. James, same North Face shoes, I'm wearing them. So I posted my latest Instagram post is actually the, uh, the certificate I got from the Shore Walkers because Angel or Mars and Worldwide, who happened to do the saunter a week before, had notified them that I did it and uh, they sent me a certificate of completion. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> George Black says he opens the stream automatically. Thank you. I've computerized you in a way. Miguel, good evening. Yeah, in the, in the, in the distance you could see part of the Williamsburg Bridge as it goes into Brooklyn. John, good evening. Yes, Lee Bunny, it is. It's very cool. David from Santa Monica, hello, welcome. Huberto, hello, thank you. Mark Watson, is, is that the Roadrunner? Um, I'm not sure. I wonder if I'm regretting not bringing my gloves. I think I'm okay. If I just walk a little quicker, that'll replace the gloves. Melissa, hello. We're looking across the East River. Anyone that's wondering. We missed sunset today, but that's okay. Tatia. Tantiana, hello. Al, hello. From Buffalo. Looking north a little bit. It's kind of a cool area because you could see both of Manhattan and Queens. Queensboro Bridge in the middle. A new pretty tall building coming up here. UN over here. Queensboro Bridge. Long Island City area too. Pepsi Cola sign right there. That's the red. Thank you, Larissa. Donna Marie, hello. The temperature here is about 39 Fahrenheit. So not warmer than this morning, significantly actually. Yeah, I think actually if, if you wanted to see the sunrise by the water, this is probably the best place just because the um, Waterside Plaza buildings are so tall, they block all the FDR noise. So it's completely quiet here except the wind. Mike, um, not a super hockey fan. I do appreciate it. Awesome, Enrique. Hopefully it's all coming in clear. Mark, Mark, yes, hello. It's winter than I expected. I wonder if that's uh, the, the impending wind uh, rainstorms that are coming. What did I do for dinner last night? Oh my goodness. If you wanted, if you took, if you venture a guess, what would you say? Morning rise, hello. Morning rise, Jorn, Jorn. Uh, it's not that it's early, it's just that this is usually a jogging route, so unless people don't feel like jogging, maybe they're taking a week off from jogging too. Oh my goodness. I can't believe the ramen comments came out that fast. Yes, <laughs> it was ramen. Ela Lazarson from Israel, hello. Slay Bunny, I actually had sushi for lunch yesterday from Hatsuhana. What is ramen? An amazing Japanese noodle dish. 
but I think the broth is what makes it. Lorenzo, hello. Yes, Sally, this is a cool place to uh, check out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Morning rise, Yorn. I am doing all right, thank you. I have a bachelor's and a master's and maybe another degree somewhere in there. Uh, Max, hello. What's my favorite sushi dish? That's a difficult question because I like the sequence of fish that's presented when you have omakase. You know, omakase is when you sit down at a at a sushi counter. It's a chef's choice. And uh, he'll, he or she or they will go through a full array of what they feel is the, the right sequence of uh, their freshest fish for that night. So that's my favorite. Kevin, hello. Dang it, Danny. Hello. Alabama Slamma. Shadows Interceptor, welcome back. Christopher from Trinidad, hello. Romachek. Is this live or is it Memorex? No, it's actually Maybelline. Welcome. Josh D. Not much, we are walking. We started along the East River, which we frequently do, but I still like it because it always is a little bit different every time we are out here. Uh, temperature about 39, 40 degrees. We're a little crooked. What else is new? I think I'm going to use a different gimbal soon. I'm kind of sick of this crookedness. It's frustrating me too much. Hello, Ben. In Albania. Daza from the UK, thank you. William Justice. Max Bieli. Big dog. Welcome and thank you for the 499 Super Chat. Happy New Year to me. Be safe, brother. Same right back at you, big dog. Happy New Year. Hope it's a safer and better one than this year was for everyone. Jonathan Castellanos. Do I know the best pizzas in Midtown Manhattan? Depends on the kind of pizza that you want. If you want like a thin Italian style pizza, you know, you can't really order by the slice. You have to order a whole one. Vetso's is really good. And that's on 30th or 31st in Lex. Um, we also have a, what's it called? There's one right on 26th and 2nd that's very good too. It does get dark, but I think if you're familiar with some of the areas, ooh, the gas is getting, the gas is getting gassed up. Huh. If you're familiar with the areas, you know what you're into, it should be okay. I think if you're jogging, you could do shorts in this weather. Yes, it's about 39, 40. Uh, James, there is self and full service. I know certain, I think Jersey is all full service, right? where they have to pump it for you, but at New York you can do either, depending on what the pump says. I prefer self-service, but I haven't filled up a car in a while. Yeah, I thought I saw them live. I think they've been going for a little while now. I wasn't sure how long they were gonna go, but I finished up my work day, so I wanted to get out here. Sicilian pizza is always nice, too. I actually like uh, LMB Spumoni Gardens very much. That's a good one. That's a very decadent slice, though. Oh, Jonathan, you're visiting New, uh, New York. Awesome. Lady Coach, hello. Beatrats is here. Welcome. South Carolina, Chris Millhouse. Stock Coast of News and Raiders. Where did you grow up? Around here? Yeah, New Jersey and Oregon. No self-serve. Okay, so I was right about Jersey, at least. And you've confirmed another one for me. So that's a helicopter hovering. Usually whenever a helicopter hovers over Manhattan at this hour, there's something going on or they're watching something. Happy New Year to you, Lady Coach. Stefan, welcome back. Gigi's in the house. Good, good. News Chopper, what's going on? What are they, uh, what are they filming? Is it uh, related to the setup of the New Year's event? 
Thank you, Lady Coach. Yep, the Empire's still sporting Christmas colors, assuming that's going to be like that until New Year's. I live in Woodside, very cool. Max Bailey, Happy New Year to you. Amanda, good evening, hello. Olive Doll, hello, thank you, from Atlanta, welcome. Can I smell the river? Does it smell like the sea? It doesn't smell as much like the sea as it does sometimes. I could smell it very lightly. Hey, Ivy Lynn, welcome. Sveta from Armenia is back. John Zubich, absolutely. I always love the way the lights reflect off the buildings across the river, or reflect off the water. One of my favorite things. Yes, Patrizia's of Manhattan, Fez Alson. That's the place I like on 2nd Avenue. In 25th, I think, or 26th. Shields, thank you. I'm trying. I was always known as being somewhat energetic. Like, uh, as soon as my alarm goes off, I'm out of bed. I'm always trying to move. But, you know, who knows how long I'll keep that up for. Uh, tide is pretty low today. Our beach is open. BYOL, bring your own ladder, climb over. In the summer, can I float down the Hudson on my back and video the sky? Um, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll figure out how to do stand up paddle boarding. I must sleep well after all the walking. I'm still a very light sleeper. Cristiano Carlos Chris, yes, hello to you in Brazil. Thank you for enjoying the channel. Bill Deef. Yeah, right now there's very few people walking, but again, this area is very residential, only... Ooh. The water is getting a little choppy. Am I not afraid? No. John, it's hard to get lost in New York, especially nowadays with the with the smartphones. You know, I can pretty easily figure out where I am. But usually I can, you know, there's only so many places I can go in Manhattan. And if you get close to a river, you kind of know where you can go. That's about it. <laughs> Fam champ. Leanne in Ireland, and John Moriarty. All right, they shouldn't have walked that way. Okay. Uh, I feel like some people would say Harlem is dating, but again, every area has its own. That scooter should not be where it is right now. Anyway. Yeah, I think I noticed that after I went outside to, to get ready for this stream. But um, yeah, we were showing different things. I think some people probably watch us in like a simulcast view. Hey, Kristen Crichton, thanks for the 499 Super Chat. Well, hello to you. Welcome. Just from Guyana. Uh, yeah, pretty much Queens on this side. And if we look this way, we'll see more of Brooklyn. Thank you, Stefan, yes. Am I wearing a gray hat? I'm wearing no hat today. It's a little warm. Yes, John, really hard to get lost. Minus the GPS, but you know, just in general. Ah, Nancy, very cool. Uh-oh. I have no idea what kind of ads show up on my thing. Maybe I should look over them one day. And one of the best things I've ever seen is this guy on YouTube, Graham Stephan, who's all about monetizing everything and talking about the algorithm. But the best thing I, th I think he's ever done is actually reviewed the ads on his own channel in a video. So he essentially monetized his monetization with a new video. It's kind of pretty funny. It's like very meta. Anyway. Liz, hello. 
welcome. Sorry if I missed anybody's chats. Feel free to resend if I missed it. Sparingly, uh, you know, not to be too spammy. <laughs> Joe Childs, hello, welcome. Ready for tomorrow? I hope so. It is uh, New Year's Eve tomorrow. Swim time, Josh Glass. Vahid from Iran. Vahid Rahim Zadagan, hello. Monitor's inception, yes. Yes, Faisa. Yeah, let's hope that the uh, the ball doesn't drop and hit zero and it says December 32nd. <laughs> was there a rat? Well, if everyone was saying a rat, and I'm assuming there was a rat, I didn't even look. <laughs> CR81, have I recovered from Sunday's hike? Not all the way, but we're getting there. This park has rules. Stefan, thank you. Canadian Giant, good evening. Brian, hello. Yeah, our rats are, um, I would say our rats are Texas sized. Because they say everything's bigger in Texas. Shadows, yeah, I hope, uh, Shadows Intercept. Yeah, I hope we do it together soon. I think we, we will. I hope so. Super nice guy. We've been chatting. The rat was chasing a cat. <laughs> Reverse uh, predator. Steven from Lowell, Massachusetts. Hello. I uh, see the, the narrowing along the FDR and the East River is going to be more difficult. Scott, no, I've never really gotten lost. Here I am, commuting around, but not commuting there now. I've done enough commuting for the day. Uh, for New Year's Eve, well, it's a working day tomorrow. So I'll probably try to... It's light on meetings, so I'll try to get some um, offline work done, and then we'll see if I can see something interesting a place to watch the ball drop but who knows <laughs> I've always actually been known to have very skinny calves but maybe it helps you move faster by not being too burdened terriers for fighting rats interesting yes Lauren shout out to you in Ireland hopefully you heard it Marcella hello Carolina, yes. Many of these joggers are very serious. <laughs> Nico, hello. Again, FDR Drive on my right. Con Edison. I should have gone into the city because uh, this is the area where it's going to be a while until I can get out of here. John Mulligan, 99. Sapsan, Happy New Year, Moskva, yes. Lael Peg, how much does my camera and gear weigh? I don't know, maybe three, four pounds. Yeah, Dumbo is, I guess, down under the Manhattan Bridge overpass or something like that. But yes, it's in Brooklyn. It's just a funny name, too. Jenny, hello. Julie, appreciate letting me know that because I definitely get too much on edge when I'm surrounded by too many people. But hey, that's me. Simon, hello to you. Simon Kubantero, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Manual. No, no one yet. Usually nobody bothers me. Uh, this morning, I did a very early stream commuting and some guy in Times Square started shouting, my man, my man. 
as I after I walked by him, like I was down the block already. But it was too aggressive, so I don't respond to that. I just keep walking. I waved my hand, waved him off, and just kept going. Hey, Frank, 001 with the CA2, $2, Canadian. Thank you for so much for the super sticker. Appreciate it. Yeah, Romachek, uh, not for me. Not for me. That's one of my rules. If anybody really approaches me aggressively and says something, I usually, I may acknowledge it, but I'm not always going to keep on moving. And I'll never take anything handed to me. If somebody tries to hand you something in New York, um, you know, it might be a flyer, or whatever, that's fine, but if they're doing it kind of aggressively, they're probably going to say, oh, you took it, now you got to give me something. You can't give it back to me. So you got to be careful. Yeah, Ivy Lynn, I think so too. Yeah, Roman check. It might have to do with me being out so early in a relatively empty Times Square for the for the time. All right, I'm going to make sure I can go through the pinch here. Again, this is an area where you are supposed to dismount your bike. Yeah, Carolina, you know, everyone reacts a little differently. I think anybody at this point, especially in Times Square, it's a little funny if somebody in Times Square has an issue with somebody filming, considering Times Square itself probably has hundreds of cameras. So I don't know. Pilot, yes. Absolutely, visit. Marcelo, of course, of course, you as well. I'm just making sure I get out of the pinch here before any other bikes come through, so I'm moving a little quicker. But I'm gonna get out of the um, out of the East River walkway as soon as I see in the first exit. Yeah, I saw Action Kids issue with the CD scammers. They really they really caused some trouble for them, and they and they I think they even they actually hit them. Technically, I mean that was pretty much assault and. I don't think, unfortunately, I don't think anything happened of it, came of it, but still, that was, it's too much. I'm walking southern, southern, southern direction. Yeah, and I saw another one of Action Kids streams, and I saw it live, when it looked like it was just somebody off the street, but it ended up being another YouTuber, Carl3, who kind of, acted very oddly and inappropriately. Probably one of the nicest people. Yes, we're right by the FDR. And FDR can be very... So interestingly enough, you see how those buses there are, are bu bumping a little bit up and down on the, on the far side? There's like a dip in the road. See, watch that bus. It kind of dips a little bit. When I was younger, my mom was driving me to an interview and a, uh, a car zoomed past us and they didn't know about that bump in the road. They must have been going 80 miles an hour, which you cannot do in the FDR. It's just not meant to handle that. And they ended up getting a little air time and they crashed. But then the interesting thing was both people got out of the car, jumped the FDR drive uh, barricade and just ran away. So it must have been a stolen car. Anyway, so that was my story. Hey, Laura, welcome. Yeah, I heard Action Kids in a very busy area tonight. It sounds like Times Square is uh, probably filled with people trying to get a glimpse of the show they're going to do tomorrow. Julie, no New Year's resolutions yet. It's to walk more. <laughs> Maybe do the Great Bridges walk. Nicholas, doing well. Capsman, hello to you. Russell, thank you. Thanks for the... I, I'm glad you guys like the story. Leo Pegg, you were watching an apartment tour. Were you watching one of Cash Jordan's videos? Yes, bless w MWS1. I'm back, I'm back out again. I hope he's doing okay. I heard Times Square is very busy. I actually like Chinatown a lot. 
Oh no, Julie C. Yes, the Great Bridges Walk, I've been told, is 34 miles. A 34 mile walk. A light jaunt. Oh, the mascots were annoying him. Yeah, even, even you know, they, they think, they see you with a camera and they think you're a tourist. And it just, uh, yeah, it can get a little involved. Glad I could inspire you to walk more fragile diamond. Uh, Lael Peck, do I ever go by Steinway Tower? I think I've been I've been by there before. I think Carnegie House is another apartment building there. There's some interesting information on the Carnegie House over there because um, apartments there sell for very cheap because apparently it's on a land lease building, which means the whole uh, land area is up for sale or renewal in 2025. So nobody knows how much more all the property taxes and maintenance is gonna cost. So the apartments there sell for ridiculously cheap, but they're gonna be hard to sell, potentially, depending on what happens with the land lease. Anyway, East River's on, on this side, yes. Art Dameron, do I have a, do I have a favorite pizza? Um, yeah, I think I've mentioned it in the past, but usually it's the thin style Italian pizzas, for like from Vezzo and Pasto in New York. Ticked off chic. Yes, I've walked over the Brooklyn Bridge. Yes. Hey, I see my own name. Happy days. Hello. Harlem is north of me significantly. Nancy, awesome. Yeah, I, I usually do weighted, weighted vest stairs for my exercise and push-ups, but I haven't done them in a few days. I feel like my knees don't do too well going down right now, but one day. Does your wife ever walk? Yes, she does. It's a little more difficult for her these days, being very pregnant, but she does sometimes. It is not snowing, and I don't think it's going to be. Mike Conti, hello. So I'm going to be walking through a little bit of housing here. Hopefully we do all right. Uh, I don't think they ever do fireworks for New Year's in New York. Um, not that I remember. Oh wow, you're fifth. Awesome, bless them, Jess. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, for these walks, no SD card. I don't even save this. This just goes straight to YouTube streaming. I probably should save it because, you know, when it records to your phone, it records at full quality so I can post it later, but no SD card. For my regular... DJI pocket walks. <coughs> I use uh, 256 gigabytes. Sparse, thank you. All right. No, I... yeah. All right, so we're away from the FDR drive. FDR can get a little too loud over there. Thank you for watching, Ticked Off Chic. We're going to try to get into the city a little bit here. I think we're approaching Avenue D, but I'm going to go a little up the avenues. Christy Go, hello. My 4K walks are a lot shorter than my live streams. Yes, Julie, yes. I also tend to break them up a little bit by areas. I think the ones I'm gonna release from now on are gonna be long, long walks. Like 45, 50 minutes, if not longer. Hey, pretty much, yeah. It's housing here, but it's actually pretty nice. We're approaching Avenue D. I'm gonna walk up the avenues. It's gonna be Avenue C afterwards. This is really Alphabet City. Buonasera, Pasquale. So I'm gonna cross, I'm gonna keep walking up the avenues. Hit up Avenue D here. I'm gonna pass by Avenue C next. Some parks here. 
basketball courts. Good evening, Regina. Mar Marisia, hello. Luis, there's no um, official lockdown in New York. It's um, just no indoor dining right now. And that's about it. And some other restrictions, I think, on gyms. You have to have timed entry and things like that. I'm in Alphabet City. There's a storage place here. Looks like some nice apartments over there, too. Loft style. Quite lofty, aren't they? Not bad. Jake, hello. Uh, many hellos to Jake and from Jake. Rose. Welcome, I don't speak French, but welcome. Uh, Iron Fist's House, if you mean the Netflix series, was by Gramercy Park. Right, no movie theaters or, or, um, or any Broadway shows or concerts. Yes, correct. That's the big stuff. No, no indoor dining, no movie theaters, no restaurants, and some other restrictions to places like gyms. Sandra, thank you. We're approaching Avenue C. I think we'll go to Avenue B soon and just kind of walk around a little bit. The Alphabet City, Lower East Side area. There's a ball drop this year, but it's virtual. And I think they invited only a few people, like 100 healthcare workers, first responders. We're on 10th Street right now, so if we keep walking towards Avenue B, we should hit the corner of Tompkins Square Park. Hello, Tim, hello. Rose, you're a Frenchie, you walk in Manhattan. Yes, it's good. Hook right boxing. How far is Iron Fist from me? Well, uh, not too far, but it's in a different neighborhood. Oh yes, UK is, is climbing up the, the tiers, I heard. Dennis, I think there's a ball. I think it's just all gonna be televised. The ball is still there. They're just not having crowds gather. Shadows Interceptor, thank you. Priyanka, hello. Oscar, hello. Dave, some cold weather. Ivy, yes, thank you for the reminder. Yeah, the ball's there. Ah, now the light's changing. Is he gonna do it? Nah. Epic nub guy, your school's on the Lower East Side, all right. Scotland, thank you, Will. Appreciate that. Here is uh, the neighborhood deli. Frank, you too, Misty Wolf, hello. Hypnotic, is this live? Yes, it is, Hypnotic. Unless I knew you were gonna say that when I pre-recorded this because I'm a mind reader and a psychic. Jeffrey, thank you. I'll have to check that out. I heard about Sushi Naz Romachek. My favorite so far, I haven't had Sushi Naz yet, was actually Sushi Nozawa. Um, I believe that's the same. Well, it was one of the apprentices of the Jiro Dreams of Sushi documentary where of the guy who Jiro who is that 90 plus year old gentleman in Japan who has that very fancy sushi restaurant like a subway station Liam I was at that comic-con I did a full recording of that comic-con on my phone on my, on my uh, DJI pocket if you want to check that out I mean uh, Alphabet City Lower East Side area Blessed MWSM. No, it, it, I'm fine. This garbage truck. Yes, TR, and one of his apprentices opened up a restaurant here. Sorry, thank you. 
want to get to the park. So I'd like to cross. If I can, yes. Advantages of Prism Live. Um, lets you stream to multiple platforms if you like that kind of thing. But it also lets you stream at 1080p and 60 frames a second. Christine, thank you. I'm doing better. Romachek, you were looking at an apartment down here, but you stayed on the Upper East Side. Got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can get some good apartments right around now anyway. Did I miss anything? Is the sushi joint? Yes, I believe so. I thought it was more in like a, yeah, it's like at a basement level, Shields. But here, the Sushi Noza was like on Clinton Street or something like that. And now it's probably the best, um, the best sushi I've ever had. Thanks, G. Jenner. Very kind of you. Oh, that's sad to hear about the Gilligan's Island actress. Thank you, Mark. Very poetic. The metallic structures, you probably mean the scaffolding. Usually means some kind of construction's going on. I'm holding the camera, Art and Hammer. It's not raining, it's supposed to rain, I think late tonight and then tomorrow. Marshall, your wife's in the Bronx, you were, you were from Buffalo, awesome. And now you're in San Diego. Drew, no, not full lockdown, just some restrictions on certain things like dining, movies, shows. So we're by Tompkins Square Park right now, on Avenue B, approaching 9th Street. This building has some nice apartments too. That was four beeps in case you didn't hear. <laughs> well, I think if you like it twice, you actually end up unliking it, unfortunately. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. Yes, Deborah. I'm good. I'm walking at night. The, um, the ball is not visible from here for sure. If you're referring to the New Year's ball. Ooh, somebody must have missed. All right, Russell, well, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Hypnotic, I'm definitely nowhere near the Home Alone Hotel, but I assume you're referring to the Plaza Hotel around Fifth Avenue. Hey, Russell Baxter, thank you for the $5 Super Chat. I know you see you have to go, but I appreciate the support. Thank you. No, Christine, they cannot gather. Yeah, Peach, somebody was playing basketball, I guess. They missed, is my guess. This is Tompkins Square Park, Julie. Oh, Stefan, you can't buy alcohol after 2 o'clock tomorrow. That's upsetting to me. You better load up. Was it Mumford and Sons who sang about this side? It might have been. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm familiar with the song. I just walked by the Slocum Memorial. Not necessarily a Ghostbusters building here. It's just Jenner. Sorry. So, is it like Jenner or like should I pronounce the J a little bit or? Apologies if I mistook it. Different areas in New York, absolutely. So. That was probably a rat. Don't think it was a squirrel anymore. Oh, there it is. That was for sure a rat. Okay, that's all I wanted to see. Are there still a lot of payphones? There's some still left over, but there's a lot of Link NYC um, Wi-Fi stations that also let you make free phone calls. Mr. Loss for the win. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the new random folks. You haven't seen a payphone in 20 years. All right, so if we see a payphone, one of the old school ones, I will point it out. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure we're going to find one, but 
I'll be sure to keep an eye out. Judith, hello. Lashera, crochet, hello. We're on 9th Street. If they want to get down to 8th Street or St. Mark's, it's going to become. So we walk south a little bit. Thank you, Deborah. I try. I'd really try. Have I met Samuel Sanchez? I have not. Stephen Friedman, hello. John, yes, when we, when we had our initial pause, they called it here, uh, shops were selling out of toilet paper, all sorts of goods very quickly. And people were reselling it for uh, exorbitant prices, but yes, that definitely happened here in, in, in the beginning. Roman check, yes, let's check out St. Mark's. We got 10 seconds to cross, can I do it? Normally I wouldn't even think twice, I just gotta think about my leg. Of course, we got Starbucks coffee here. Thanks, Paul. What's my favorite car brand? Well, I really like Teslas these days. Thank you, Robert. From Pittsburgh, hello. Amanda, yes, I'm going. Julie, thank you. Yeah, the toilet paper thing was unfortunate. Luckily, it's a little better now, but you know, if you don't have one, I would suggest a bidet. <laughs> that Starbucks used to be a really good pizza place. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember that. Yeah, the Model Y is pretty good. It's like the Model 3, but it's got the body of a, little, of a bigger car with more storage, more cargo space. It's good. Evening, Andreas, hello. Banana, hello. I've never compared Starbucks prices around New York and other places, so it's probably not cheap. But I don't know. I don't buy Starbucks that often. The Hyundai Elantra Langston likes. Cool. These are your drinking nights that always end in that pizza place. Yes, I think everyone always has a specific place they end up at if they had a little too much in New York. Donny Fani. I'm glad your five-year-old enjoys it. I'll apologize in advance if I do hurt myself somehow. Sometimes I yell out expletives uh, reflexively. <laughs> so if that happens, I apologize in advance. Stephen Jay, where's the sushi? There's some around here. Hello. Uith Norden. How many miles do I walk? It varies on the days. Today my watch says I'm at... Because I walked a lot today. Today my watch says I'm at 12 miles. About. April, hello to you. Welcome. Yes, Sean Tracy agreed. Leia, well, nobody's really has, but I try to be respectful if they're going to say they don't want to be on film. I mean, yes, I'll tell them that I can film in public places, but I'll also just move the camera away from them or angle it downwards for the moment. And then I'll tell them, well, it's a live stream, but I'll, I can cut you out later. But for now, I'll just angle away. From Boston, hello. Wade, hello. Michigan, I think Ivy Lynn's from Michigan. Sir Wolf. No, I'm just walking around now. Chris, happy new year. Thank you. Dirt Boss Masonry and Excavating from Albany, New York. Hello. Mike from Sweden. Hello. Virginian Guest House. I don't know if I'm familiar with that one, but I might have walked by it. Judith, that's about right. I think you can get a small for a couple of bucks. Enrique. Enrique. Hey, great. Oh, you're having coffee today. Okay, okay. It's a little late for me for coffee. I would be switching to a different kind of beverage. Not a bad ratio. Thanks, Romachek. Deathstroke from Brazil. Hello. Hello. 
Did I see a payphone? Did we see a payphone that I missed? I was trying to find one. <laughs> Sakura, hello. Tini, Sri, hello. From Germany, Big Smile Cologne. I think we have uh, Stefan Schrober from Germany, too. The wooden structures here are outdoor dining, essentially. Julie, yes. It's a lighter day, but I do have it. Romacek sounds like you gotta move. No, this is not. This is not. Mandela, hello. Oh, you wanna sell me a 2020 Corvette? Awesome. You could also give me the money to buy it. <laughs> Don't you technically live a few miles away? I guess that's miles away one way or another. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Anik Chowdhury, hello, from Kolkata. Go Software from Morocco, hello. Is there a mosque around here? I'm sure we could find one, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. I think, I thought the, the Russian baths were around here somewhere. <laughs> 90K in smile, my goodness. Yeah, I'll see if I can scrounge up 90K. <laughs> I think we're about to walk by Puerto Rico Coffee, which is a pretty good place to get coffee and beans. Puerto Rico Importing Company, this place. It's very good. They have a couple of locations. Barnaby, yes, hopefully. From New Brunswick, Canada, hello, Guyute. So we're up to 2nd Avenue and St. Mark's Place, or 8th Street, is what it lines up to be. We'll walk up, see what's going on. Might be pretty quiet, I'm assuming. Michael, hello. Ah, uh, Josh, you got a lot of toys. It's awesome. That runner is rearing to go. The bikes have the right of way. I will give it to them. Let the lights change in now. The Sparks Steakhouse still exists, asked Kalel. Clark Kent, I'm not sure. Robin from Michigan, hello. Purple Lady, Happy New Year. Cool. It was across your neighborhood. Nice. Well, here we are on really the main part of St. Mark's, between 2nd and 3rd. Oh, the hot pot place is closed, I guess, because they have no outdoor dining. Actually, what, what are they saying over there? I want to see this, because it's one, one of my favorite hot pot places. Do they say anything about why they're closed? The USPS, nope, not sure. Yeah, I love Hot Pot, and 99 Favor is one of my favorite. They usually have outdoor dining, so I don't know why they don't have it out right now. Ah, oh, Julie, glad to bring back some nostalgia for you. I wonder if Kenka's open. I think it might be. <laughs> I think they put up some outdoor seats over here for Kenka, a Japanese restaurant where you can get some interesting things. Stefan, that would be a great accomplishment. Proud of you. This is Kenka, great Japanese place. Um, they sell some interesting things, something akin to like Rocky Mountain oysters and bull's penis. Valhalla, how do I pick my starting locations? I usually start from Midtown just because it's convenient, but it all depends on where I want to go, in a way. <laughs> but you're just not even... We're not even asking what I'm having for dinner, just what kind of ramen. <laughs> Meet Q. Is there a Japan town? I think there's something very small, but not specifically a Japan town. 
This is the same arch. Yes, it's uh, a bit busier. Still not as busy as maybe a weekend day would be, especially during normal times. So you might not recognize this next part, Romachek. I don't know last time you were down here, but they tore down the entire 3rd Avenue corner of St. Mark's here. I don't know if you'll even recognize this spot. I can't get through there. Oh yes, I feel it. Absolutely. If any of that is happening, we do not tolerate that. Especially not in such an international community that we've gathered here. Everyone is welcome here. HD, we dongy. Okay, I'll try. I'll try to remember the characters because for me it's a little hard sometimes. So Roman check. I don't know if I missed your messages, but this this pizza place has always been here, pizza and bagels. But this is the this is the corner I was talking about. Everything got torn down there. I think there was like a big bar. Maybe one of the, I think one of the bars there had a like a concert space in the back. Even there was a McDonald's here. Shields, yeah, there's supposed to be very specific rules for what they do outdoors, but who knows if anyone even understands it. Yeah, Romanchek, all gone that area. So that might be pretty different from when you were in here before. I mean, here's some art that says, rest in peace, St. Mark's. Pepperoni, Joey pepperoni pizza is very good, cheap pizza if you need some. Uh, Judah, a lot of folks in New York get tattoos, yeah. And I think people have a lot of uh, favorites and they probably get a lot of word of mouth business. Sake is a sneaky drink. It can really creep up on you quickly. Sake. Hey, POVHFR, hello. I caught part of your premiere video today. I'm gonna go back and watch the rest of it later. Continental was the name of the bar. Five shots for 10 bucks. Now that's a deal. Sicilian's good some days for me. You know, it'll vary for me, which, because it's a very he heavy slice, I would say. Sicilian pizza. And Marie from Ireland, hello. I've lived here almost 30 years. Not my life, but most of it. Yes, Jamara, I guess you're naming various pizzas, yes. Here's the cube at Astor Place. I don't think I'll be able to move it on my own right now. I could try. No guarantee that I will. Miss Astor Dancer, you're not in trouble. Absolutely not. Yes, this is also the Facebook offices, the Kmart building. My favorite alcoholic beverage. I usually just go straight up for a beer. A little sleepy, don't be shy. Hello. Is New York City dangerous? I mean, I'm sure some parts are considered more questionable than others, but every city has those kinds of apparent parts and just gotta use your head. That's all. What do we think? Should we try to move the cube? Kristen, yes, I think so. Initially I wasn't sure, but I think that's a good idea. So normally people try to move this cube, but I think it's gonna take a lot more people to move it. Yeah, I'm more dangerous than New York City. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to move this cube right now. Yeah, too heavy for me to move. But you could hear it, you could hear it uh, creaking. I'm sure if I really put my back into it, I'd be able to. Yeah, touching, that's fine. Actually, surface spread isn't as um, concerning as uh, the usual part particle and droplet, and potentially airborne. Holy cow, no. Tesla Model 3. Yeah, as, as long as you're vigilant, I think it'll be all right. 
Yeah, I heard he was in a much busier area than I am. I chose the more um, <laughs> relaxed area, I think, for now. Yeah, there used to be a Barnes and Nobles here. This is the iPhone 12 mini. Jamar, thank you. You too, wherever you are. No, he got on a bus. I wonder where he's going. He's going south or north, Laura? Roman check. I don't know if you remember the, the Barnes & Noble on 5th Avenue and 18th Street. My mom used to take me there when I was small. She would, like, get textbooks there or something. But I remember they had lockers in the front where you were meant to put a quarter in, leave your bag, but you could also take your bag back and you get the quarter back. So many people didn't know that, so I would go through those lockers and uh and take quarters from people who didn't know about the getting your quarterback business as a kid gary gary thank you uh yes i do like the iphone 12 mini for streaming anyway that's all i use it for and emails oh cool personalized face mask awesome I actually get, had to get my face mask off Etsy because I like a very specific kind of face mask. Oh, Barnes & Noble's in Chelsea. Okay, cool. Sixth Avenue. Yeah, this is Lafayette Street. Relatively empty. Where is all the snow? Well, it melted. It, well, there was a few rainy and warm days here since the last snowstorm. I've partially recovered. Not completely, but we're getting there. Where, what am I doing for New Year's... Eve? Not sure yet. I owe you a quarter. Oh my goodness. Were you were you one of the quarters that left that were left behind there? Luisa from Italy, hello. Umar Raman, hello. So I'm in the bike lane technically with the detour, but I was gonna try to cross. Ah, I'll go this way. Give you a wave, okay, like that. <laughs> Chicago. Chicago is uh, snowy today? Interesting. I have a good friend out there. Mark Watson, I hope you're doing okay tonight. Uh, yeah, let me cross the street and go into some more of the side streets here. Raul, hello. Happy New Year to you, Jamar Newell. Another NYU building. Didn't the Tower Records used to be around here? Or Tower Video? Maybe? I think there was one on each side. I think one of them was here. And then the other one was there. Oh, Daryl, yeah, so he went south a little bit. Cool, I think. Yeah, if anyone can remind me which one was Tower Records and Tower Videos. Well, you can see some of the new scaffolding here. I think the side streets are kind of uh, cool. Quaint. Oh, what did Miss Astro Dancer say? Oh, snow in Texas. That's got to be a big deal, right? Uh, work. Work keeps me here. Ah, yeah, that might have been a different one, too. Yeah, I mean, it all depends on where you're used to snow and where you're not. Like, if you're not used to snow in a certain place, there might be overreaction to it because you have to be prepared for something. Here's another landmark, the Merchant's House. It's a historic landmark, so this building concession can never be removed. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Crazy Eddies. I don't know if I remember Crazy Eddies. Lucy, hello, welcome. Blessed MWS mom. I'm not sure yet. I may have to uh, help my brother-in-law with something, so I might not. How far am I from Broadway? It's behind me. 
a few blocks, not too far. Feels like 27 in Texas. I mean, that's got to be nobody beats the whiz, DB Burns. Interesting murals. They're, they both say vote, but they're very interesting. I wonder what their deeper meaning is. All right, Christina. Have a good evening. Nelson Sutton. I've seen some of those old videos of NYC, but I want to look at them again. Susan, I'm well, thank you. Super Chief. Here's something interesting, Super Chief. This bee in a top hat or a fly that's telling you to vote. Hmm. I've never met Dave Letterman. I've met Mr. G, the weatherman. God rides a Harley, hit a bad slice. Well, hopefully it doesn't come all the way to New York. If it does, I think I might be dealing with somebody from Krypton. From Poland, hello. Vote for the fly party, yes, that's, that's what they're saying, I think. Ah, Phoebe's Tavern. I've frequented this establishment with friends in the past. So that means we are on 4th Street. Oh, they have outdoor dining space, but I guess they're not, they're not sir. A lot of restaurants, I feel like, are closed this week, too. Umar, thank you. Danny, could I tell you one Watertown? Probably could. Yes, 4th Street, yes. Here's a cool entrance to a building. Actually, what is this? This is a very cool entrance to a building. I guess it's each, well, some floors have two units, but it also looks like they have their own garage. And I guess each floor, yeah, I like this building. 52 East 4th Street, if anyone's interested in looking it up. Am I heading towards the East Side Hospital? I'm a bit south of the hospitals on the East Side. bit south of the hospitals right now. Yeah, I'm on 4th Street. 4th Street. We're approaching La Mama Experimental Theater Club on the right. Desk Kyer, hello. Melzer, thank you. Gage, hello from Indiana, hello to you. Yeah, it is a quiet street. Most of the side streets are pretty quiet in general. Oh, I like that. Little apartment too. We have a little outdoor space. Well, this is this is part of this uh, theater works building. The highest number street is two seventy one in Queens. I didn't know that. That's a good uh, that's a good fact there. Thank you. Uh, Fifty two inexpensive at ten thousand a month. All right. Well, that answers that. Very accessible to most. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. I'm glad somebody looked it up. I was curious. Shields, yeah, here we are. 9,500 a month for a four bedroom. And it's a non-doorman building, it would seem. Uh, Ukrainian village is kind of around here, yeah. I don't know if it has very specific boundaries, actually, Ukrainian village. Oh, Toy, Toy, Toy Tokyo is around here, but it's to my left, isn't it? I think it's on my left somewhere, or is it on my right? I forget. I used to walk work at the flea market across the street from Zito's Bakery. Cool. It will remain vacant, yes. Hey, wait, does that say the Grand House of... Oh, no, I always keep thinking it was a Grand House of Ramen. You know someone who pays 26 k a month for rent, Danny. That's impressive. That's more than most people's salaries. Most people. 
like by 99% of people. Romachek said there's an Indian restaurant at 93 First Street Avenue, number two, that has tens of thousands of Christmas lights from the ceiling. So it's on First Street? I guess I have to go to First Street then. Wait, you said 93 First Street? Does that mean I have to go closer to, uh, I have to go west from where I am, I think, to get there. Oops. Hey, Proud USA, F Mom, Connecticut. Hello. 99 Super Sticker. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Very kind of you. Super Chief, thank you. I'm trying to keep it steady. Peter Rosenberg. Very cool. David McElroy from Ireland. And the M&M store. That's more in uh, the Times Square area. Sharifa, pretty good. I would have to go northeast from where I am. Northeast? Wait, north. You said it's on First Street, right? Or did I did I misread that? They definitely did not have the light, but okay. Neither do we technically, but we're not impeding any traffic. <laughs> oh, action kid went to is heading towards Bryant Park. Okay. Wait, he's back in Times Square since... I thought somebody said he was on a bus. No, we are not on lockdown here. Michael Jackson rents Trump's penthouse for 100k a month. Amazing. Incredible. I check out Pennsylvania. I've been to Philadelphia before. F.A.O. Schwartz at, at uh, Brian, um, Rockefeller Center might be open. That's where they moved it. God rides a Harley from Tulsa, Oklahoma. $2 super chat. We enjoy your walks. Thank you. Glad to have you here. Appreciate that. Oh, First Avenue needs 6th Street. Okay. So let me head to First Avenue. Well, I might as well head to First Street then because if we go to First Street or First Avenue, that's next to the universe. Uh, this car is stopping, I think. But here is a uh, restaurant here. Some of the heaters are on. Oh, these heaters are nice. These heaters are nice. <laughs> right, the one that got away. The ball will drop. I think there's very few special guests that were invited. Uh, Sharif, I do have Instagram. Same, same handle, at the walking commuter. No, uh, no spaces, no dashes, no underscores. They do some stuff in the studio sometimes. I see them doing like karate and things, but nothing going on right now. A Philly sort of shout out. Yes, sort of, but shout out to Philly, Jack girl. You can follow me on Instagram. I do have a Twitter also, but I don't use it. But yes, you can follow me on Instagram. What time is it in New York right now? I'll tell you the exact time after I look. 6.33 p.m. Is the weather cold here? It's not so bad right now. I think it's gonna stay relatively warm. So the reason I wanted to get to First Street is because I go to, if I go to First Street and First Avenue, that's where the nexus of the universe is. And if anybody could tell me what show that's from, that'd be cool. They definitely did not have the light. I don't even think Jennifer Lopez lives in the Bronx anymore. Even though she says she's Jenny from the block. Hey, I'm walking with, uh, with all of you guys. So it's a good walk. Is she performing tomorrow? Hmm. Um, may you enjoy you're depressed. I'm sorry to hear you're depressed. Um, if you need any help, be sure to reach out. Oh, JLo's sister, mom, or teacher. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait, you saw my great Saunter certification. Yes, thanks to Angel or Mars and Worldwide, who did the great Saunter one week before me. Definitely check him out. He, he joined the chat and helped out a lot, and he let the Shorewalkers know that, that I did it also. 
David, I was fooled. I'm sorry. Sir Peter Lilly, glad to hear it. The one that got away. Thank you for the $10 super chat. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Ah, Sakura, you got it. Correct. The nexus of the universe. First and first. How can the same street intersect itself? Yeah, I remember Kramer was very distraught. I don't think it's going to be crazy, but I also don't know how many people are going to try to get their way over there when they're not supposed to. And I don't know how seriously the police will uh, deal with that. So we'll see. Uh, Sam Judd. I, I kind of did, but it's not great quality, so I'm not even sure I, I want to throw it up there. But YouTube keeps says it's, says it's still processing it, because it's like a, almost a 10-hour video. I couldn't get it up at full quality. So I had to lower, lower it down a bit, because the file was too big. Steven Friedman, Happy New Year to you. Thank you for the 499 Super Chat. I'm great. No, you're great. It's a cool little place. Let's see if you can get a coffee and do some watercolors. Romachek, good. We need all your knowledge. It's about 6.35 p.m. here. We've reached the nexus of the universe. I think it, we might even say that on, on Google Maps if you go to first and first. I think I have to cross the street for it to appropriately say it. Um, they, we have outside dining, yes. Ah, okay, he went over to Bryant Park, cool. Yeah, here's the nexus of the universe, first and first. Susan, thank you. It's a little late for coffee for me. But thank you. Yeah, Sharif, I heard about that. Hopefully things get a little better there soon. Thank you, Stefan Schober. So we're walking north on First Avenue now, I think. Uh, Romanchek wanted me to check out that uh, Indian restaurant with all the Christmas lights. Hopefully it's still up, but I might do some zigzagging on the streets here. Since we're already in the area, it's kind of cool to see what we see. Unfortunately, some establishments have been vandalized already. Disney's Mickey Mouse and Coach? Or Keith Ham? Hmm. Interesting. Julie, I don't think I'm going to have a morning stream tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Most likely I might have to help my brother-in-law with something. So I might not be able to do it. Barbecue recommendations. Um, a lot of people like dinosaur barbecue. I like uh, Mighty Quinn's barbecue. Mighty Quinn's. Uh, there's not much if I go right, actually, so let me go left. Let me go straight. It's going to be on the west side of the avenue, closer to E6. Okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> I just leave the cam on 24-7. I was thinking about that. I used to do, like, rain streams where we tried to catch thunderstorms. That happened overnight, but I haven't done that in a while. Mike from New Mexico, hello. Thank you, Michael, yes. And it's lonely, you could use some more friends, like buttons, so give it some more friends. From Holland, Yolanda, hello. Ronnie, I don't have a dog, I wish I did. Our building doesn't allow them. 
I'm gonna cross this. That doesn't have much going on for it, so we'll go to Starbucks over here. We'll all cross the street towards it. Saves from South Florida. Hello. Joar Vitor Fragoso from Brazil. Hello. Awesome, awesome. Welcome, everyone. Nordy, not originally from New York. Yeah, that's a cool, that's a cool walk. All my little box in front of me. <laughs> Esther, glad to have you here. I know England's in a bit of a situation right now, but hopefully this helps you escape a little bit. Oh, it's after midnight where you are, Yolanda. Wow. Beer City, Beer City. Variety of beer sold there at Beer City. Laura from St. Petersburg, Florida. Not Russia, hello. Save for Michigan. Ah, you missed the snow. Yeah, I'm kind of a similar way, you know, once it's the, the dead of summer, by the time it's kind of mid-August, I'm kind of ready for some cooler weather. And when it's in the middle of February, I'm about ready for summertime. Sam, yeah, it's a little difficult in our building. Uh, a lot of, lot of eyes and questions and not easy. <laughs> Stefan, I'm a little surprised to hear you say that. But hey, everyone likes their own beer preferences. I think, yeah, everyone has their own preferences for beer, of course. I personally like a Pilsner. Roman check says, interesting, your building doesn't allow dogs. Yeah, ours does not. They do allow emotional support dogs, but I don't want to uh, take advantage of that if it's not necessary. Of course, there's some special shops here. Special shops, very special. And cat dog, no thanks. The best beer is the one Homer drinks. Now, Roman check, where's that restaurant? You can already see they don't have outdoor dining, which surprises you. Okay, oh, sorry. Where, where was that restaurant? You said it's on the north side of 6th Street. Should I go towards 6th Street? Upstate is where I had oysters that had oyster crabs in them. And I never knew those were a thing. Oh, it's right there? Was it fully closed? It must have been closed. It must have been completely closed. Okay, let me... Go back a little bit. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, that's all the Christmas lights. Everything is off. So this would have... I didn't, um... Didn't Louis Rossman have his computer repair shop around here before? My dad got his first job. Yeah, Sue. So at least he still got McDonald's. Do I plan to walk for another nine hours? No, that was a once in a lifetime sort of thing. Sixth Street is kind of known for Indian restaurants, so I'm gonna take a little stroll down it. Uh, I'm sure they get the idea of what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to miss my my whole setup. Well, I know Louis Rossman also has moved his shop into Midtown West now, but yeah, I thought his old one was around here. Okay, is this a... Is this some kind of a spruce? What is this? 
No, not a spruce. What is this? Cypress? Hmm. I'm not a, uh, a botanist. Sorry. Omni, I posted it once on, um, on Instagram, if you want to take a look at a picture. Blue spruce, yeah, maybe. Cedar, it could be a cedar, yes, that sounds right. No, it wasn't pine. It didn't focus on it, so it looked like pine needles, but it wasn't. A mint. It didn't smell like it, I don't think. Sometimes I use these to kind of hide out a little bit if it's uh, if it's raining or snowing too hard, but we're okay. Kook. Interesting kook. Yeah, a lot of Indian restaurants on this block. Nabi, hello, happy new year. Yeah, this is the community synagogue, actually. Synagogue. Red cedar, okay. Good, I think it's cedar. I agree with that. Sir Peter, this is a, a synagogue, actually. If you're interested, I can take a closer peek. I'm not sure there's any signs about it. Oh, there is one. This is also the General Slocum Disaster Centennial. Let me... Oh, Uwe H, two euros, hello from Germany. Hello, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Anyhow, I do have unlimited data, but I imagine it's not gonna last forever. Verizon, like all the other unlimited providers in New York and other places, have throttling. SR, take a look on Instagram, same username. It's hard to show the, the setup unless I find a mirror. But on Instagram, I took a photo of it during the snowstorm two weeks ago because it kept growing an icicle on it. But you can get, you can see a good picture of the setup there, and another more idea setup. It was a general Slocum disaster plaque. The one that got away. No, she's eating pretty healthy these days. No check, a little bit. No check. Steve remembers the icicle. Yes, it grew. It grew as the snowstorm continued. What do I do for fun in New York? Well, it's a little different for a New Yorker, you know. Normally, you'd go out to eat, maybe catch a movie, catch a Broadway show, off-Broadway show. It all depends. Less touristy stuff. Yes, Suli, we went through St. Mark's. Ah, Mighty Quinn's Barbecue. That's what I was talking about earlier. End of January. Yes, right as I walk past some trash, sorry. Oh, unfortunately, this is the area where that church burned now. Mighty Quinn's Barbecue is a pretty good barbecue place in New York. Ah, DTUK, hello to you. Yes, Joel Hageman. So, yes, this is the... This is a dead end because the church here, unfortunately, burned, so I can't walk that way. But I'll go across the street and get a better view of it. It's unfortunate, but it happened, so we have to remember and honor. Yeah, saved. You know what happens. But again, Mighty Quinn's Barbecue, pretty good barbecue in New York. I'm sure it doesn't compare to Texas. Canyon, that will be in Stuyvesant Town. Jerry Walsh, you visit New York for sleuthing the ultimate bagel. We do have bagels here that are quite good. Can't deny that. Um, I do like a... a nice margarita pizza sometimes. Ah, oh, Lucy, thank you. Nah, why save them? Just have them all. All the time. 
Yeah, only the front seems to have survived, unfortunately. Sanshi rice noodles. Yeah, BA. Yep, a fire there. Uh oh, I just changed for them. And anyways, she is moving. Stop. I haven't seen Stomp open in a long time. Here, when you hit the bottle, you hit the bottles. It's never singular, yeah? I've not been to Bronx Ale House. You haven't eaten pizza in a while? Actually, I haven't had pizza in a while either. Hey, Angel! Margarita pizza, yes, with mushrooms. Mushrooms are good. I mean, sometimes I go crazy and just get every kind of meat imaginable on a pizza, but that's rare. It's an abomination, but I like it. Yeah, Stop has been here forever. I just wonder when their actual last show was. Cristiano, yes, hello, welcome. When did that church burn? Uh, a few weeks ago, I don't remember exactly. Russell Beck, hello. We're kind of in a little Ukraine now. Kind of overlaps with St. Mark's. Dallas Barbecue is not the barbecue place you want to go to. Unless you want to get oversized drinks, which is always a positive. Actually, let me go to 9th Street also. Yeah, so don't go to Dallas Barbecue unless you want very big drinks. If so, then go. <laughs> Almost 30 years. No, Roman should guess exactly. The drinks. If you're going there for the drinks, yes. And I'd probably get a burger there if I was going to go there. But yeah, if you want straight up good barbecue, probably somewhere else. <laughs> probably. But I can't knock Dallas for their drinks. And they do get a little bit creative with them too, actually. Oh, Veneros, that's amazing. Veneros is my childhood bakery. I used to always get a tiramisu there from, for my birthday. My mom knew I loved it. Wait, telephone, did we actually pass one? Or you got sidetracked by your own telephone? All right, sorry. I got sidetracked by you talking about a telephone. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna stop. I'll, I'll walk really by Veneers. I like to walk up this block too because it has some cool tea shops and other Japanese places. Oh, Miss Astro, you can't have them. Sorry. Oh, you meant your phone. <laughs> Sylvia, hello. Yeah, this is this is almost like a little Japan. There's definitely a few Japanese places around here, so. I would almost call this like a little Japan block, but not really, but kind of. Um, the only good food is Dallas or the sticky wings. I wouldn't be surprised. I've been drinking, not yet. That's saved for after my walks. I think that's Either a sake bar or a bonbon place. Oh, Tutti. I'm glad he's doing okay. I know you said he only has a few treatments left, so that's good. Hopefully they all go well. Robin, hello. Oh, random guys here. Best behavior. A decent turkey burger. I feel like... Personally, I would have never ordered a turkey burger at a barbecue place. <laughs> That's me though. That's just me. Do I eat out more than I cook? Yes, because I cannot cook. Stick your rice for dinner instead of ramen shields. I don't know what you're trying to do here. This is a ramen only channel, it seems. Yes, ETUK. Only for me, and that happens sometimes by accident. <laughs> Oh, okay. 
That makes more sense. I would probably never order it unless somebody specifically told me that was the most amazing thing on the menu. <laughs> Justin's Journeys, you missed everything. Here's Panya Bakery. I believe there's a drink place next to it called Angel's Share, which is kind of cool. And I wanted to walk by and show you Sunrise Mart. I think this is actually called Stuyvesant Street that we're on right now. So Sunrise Mart is a great Japanese market. It's actually on the second floor, so you got to take an elevator up there. No stairs to get up. But it's a great place. And they sell sushi-grade fish at a decent price. So if you actually want to make your own sushi, they're a great place to buy fish. If they have outdoor seating, they can they can be open. I'm not sure if there's so one of the requirements for bars initially when things started to reopen is that they had to serve food also. So some bars actually set up like a small chili pot <laughs> and they served like little cups of chili just to satisfy the food things. Uh, but I don't know if that requirement still holds right now. Oh, there's a film called Angel Share. Said in Scotland's about whiskey. Cool. Sushi written in Korean like that. Interesting. I kind of want to remember that too. Fiona, hello from Fire Scotland. It's Lucy, you're not sure if you like raw fish. It's definitely different than when you, like, if you are about to cook salmon, it's and you smell that fish. That's not sushi. Sushi actually has like almost no smell. It doesn't smell or taste fishy at all. It's kind of not what I expected the first time I really tried it. It's really good. Takoyaki is also good. It's like the kind of like balls of... I guess you could also get it in a pancake, but it has these flakes on it too. I'm actually going to walk down this street. This is a nice street with nice uh, brownstones and townhomes. Ah, Betsy. Hello from Japan. Nah, you'll school us on all the sushi, <laughs> then. Exactly, Angel. Actually, one of my favorite houses is on the corner of Stuyvesant Street, at the beginning of that triangle-shaped block. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hope you'll be all right, Lucy. I'm on 10th Street right now. Yeah, everyone has their preferences either way. I've tried a lot of things, and there's some things that I probably wouldn't eat again, but I'll still, I tried them at least once and I was okay with it. Uh, but I'm probably not again. One of those examples would be Balut, if you're familiar with Balut. Oh, Naboo is here. Hello. Welcome. Frog legs I've had and they're actually not bad. I eat them again. I've tried, yes, octopus I've had. I like octopus. I eat it again. But balut. Balut, I think, um, it just wasn't for me. I don't think it was bad. It just wasn't for me. Rocky Mountain Oysters, uh, I haven't tried those yet. Maybe. Sarah asks if I'm walking tomorrow. Might Maybe also. This is a church has always been here. As long as I can remember. I'm sure it's been here much longer than me. Favorite Russian food. Um, I like pinmeni, but also my grandma used to make more... Um, more like, not Russian, but a different kind of food. She would make chiburieki, which isn't really Russian, but she made it a lot. Oh, you can see the moon popping through. And brini. Sarah, thank you. Yeah, it's like the embryo in, a, uh, in an egg still, just before it hatches. Favorite Uzbek food. I'm not familiar with Uzbek food, unfortunately. Mike, pretty cool. 
do I usually go to Times Square on New Year's Eve? No, I would almost never go to Times Square on New Year's Eve. Um, but this year would not be even possible to go to Times Square on New Year's Eve because it's closed to most people. Yeah, Miss Astrid, so that's why it wasn't for me. That's why it wasn't for me. Personally. What's the most quiet area in Manhattan? Um, maybe the Upper West Side. That's pretty quiet up there. So I'm gonna walk down 11th Street. This should be where Venero's actually is. I remember because... Ooh, a dosa from a dosa man, yes. I know about, um... That because I actually went to 3rd Street Music School for a lot of my childhood, which is over there, but it's on 11th Street. I think there it used to be on 3rd Street, but something changed. I think it was moved or the street numbers changed. But yes. So it's back in a lot of the- Venero's is on the same block as that music school. Kind of, yes, that's kind of the sentiment I hear. So that's why I steer clear. Central Park, we are not near. Am I near in my U? Relatively. Yeah, what well, WC, TWC are some of the abbreviations used to refer to me. Inwood, oh, I guess, yeah, if you're really looking for the quietest, like, place, yeah, probably that, because that's like, almost like a forest. Huh. Have I tried Brazilian food? Yes. Been to like one of those Brazilian restaurants where they walk around with the meat skewers and they slice them off right onto your plate. That's delectable. And I play piano. Oh, some landmines. Again, landmines in New York I refer to as dog poop. Dog poop. Uh, piano, piano is what I play. Oh, you got the number two, Lucy. Awesome. I'm still waiting for mine. Hypnotic. No, I would, I'm willing to try it. I probably will like it. I think, I think there's an Uzbek restaurant in Brooklyn. I'm going to try to find it. Chicken liver or gizzard. So I have to choose. Matt, hello. We're approaching Venero's. Been here since 1894, pretty much as long as my music school has. Peter Johnson, Swedish Krona, 50. Thank you so much from Sweden. Hi. You taught me about the Krona, and I will never forget. This is Veneer right now. The O is missing. So I'm gonna go walk past it. But yeah, this is the very famous Italian. Pasticceria. You see it all my tiramisu's here. I feel like they changed the way they make their tiramisu's though over the years. Wait, what did I what did I miss? That's right, Brandy's Piano Bar. Hey Valhalla 519 with this Canadian five dollars. Happy New Year's. Streams are a great way to, to watch doing cardio. Yes. It's a good way to pass the time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The piano, what did uh, Romachek say about the piano bar? I have been to May's, Marie's Crisis. I have not. I have not. Maybe I should go. Miss Astro Dancer, you never had tiramisu. You should uh, find a place. If you have a Whole Foods near you, actually, uh, Whole Foods has surprisingly good tiramisu. Hey, this is new. Rasa, Tibetan restaurant. Interesting. Very interesting. That's kind of cool. I wonder how long this place has been here. I don't remember this being here a couple of years ago. They have their own style sushi, it looks like. It has been here for how long? I remember something else being here. Like four years ago, I went to this exact location and this place was not here. Something else was here four years ago.
Yes, yeah, so if you have a Whole Foods near you, try their tiramisu. It doesn't look like a traditional tiramisu, but it tastes very good. Very good. Oh, I used to go to this halal stand a lot. I like it a lot too. Maurice Crisis, okay, Roma check. I will keep that on my radar. This is one of my other childhood halal stands. I used to go to there a lot. Oh, you're gonna go there tomorrow, Angel. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you got food poisoning from Whole Foods. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought they were known to sell pretty decent stuff. I wonder what happened. Oh, you have a Walmart. Yeah, we don't have any Walmarts in New York City. Not in New York City proper, anyway. Will I be on tomorrow? I think at some point I will. I'm not sure about the morning yet. Sophia, hello. It's Caracol. Yeah, I'm just kind of walking up and down the streets here. Any Hungarian food here? I'm not too sure, actually. Andreas, all right, have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, Good Burger, interesting. Are they home of the Good Burger? Did they take your order? Gabby Valente, hello. This from Argentina. Feliz Año Nuevo. También. Happy New Year to you. Am I freezing? No, I'm okay. It's like 39, 40 degrees. Ooh, this building is new. Looks like it's quite fancy, actually. Here on Avenue A and 11th Street. Yeah, it looks pretty fancy. They got central air. That seals it. It's fancy. Roman check, Roman check, Roman check. Oh, that was a running joke when you went for, for lunch. Yeah. In and out Cal. I do think In and Out Burger is probably the best, even if I don't have access to it. Mayo is ma magnificent, sure. Karen, good night to you. From Switzerland, hello. Ermin. Ross, what do people do in New York, New York Eve? in New York. I mean, New Year's Eve in New York. Well, it varies. Some people try to go to the New Year's Eve extravaganza at Times Square, but I feel like most New Yorkers do not. So they probably do their own parties, but this year, I don't know what they're going to do. The zero degree is summer. Ha. This is 438 East 12th Street. 438 East 12th Street? But if I just saw... Wait, now I want to see the exact address of this place. If anybody wants to look up the apartments here, how much they are. I think the entrance is on the, is on the other side. This might be it. 438 East 12th Street, Steiner East Village. This must be the back door. Yeah, this is the back entrance. You use a ID card to tap in. Yeah, I'm gonna look inside the lobby. I think it's on 12th Street. Street. I've never collaborated with Smooth Sanchez, no. Miss Astro Dancer, that's a pretty relatively small town compared to New York, especially, but yeah. 11 grand a month for a two bedroom. Thank you, Valhalla. That's. What a price. What a price. This is here, just on 11th Street and Avenue A. It's not even. And it's an unexpectedly expensive neighborhood. Well, again, all, all of Alphabet City is kind of up and up. Four million to buy. Woof. All right. Now we do have to see the lobby. So they say the lobby's on 12th Street, I think. Well, let's walk to 12th Street and see if we can find a lobby. Well, a little bit, as long as you have a smartphone. I think that's the way to keep less lost. Yeah, that's kind of what I was trying to do today. It's kind of a little interesting to walk around some of these smaller streets. But this, I, I just want to see the entrance to that building. Because this building seems to be much fancier than I expected. Deborah, what do I like about New York? I like everything. I like the diversity. And I like that I can get food at any hour. <laughs> Being a terrible cook. Okay. 
Yeah, that makes more sense. Nice building. 438 East 12th Street. Their energy efficiency rating is worse than my building. It's a B. Hey, Suniva. Ooh, ooh. Suniva Scar. Okay, and okay, 55. A new currency for me. Ah, Miss Astro, you have a brand new flip phone. Josh, well, I can't afford, I can't afford that place, so. <laughs> Sorry. But thank you for the super chat. Can anyone tell me the currency? Yeah, there's benefits to it, Romachek. Packages being probably one of the <laughs> best ones. A September listing on the building to rent a three bedroom is 3890. In that building, that is less than I would expect too. Okay, that's interesting. That is interesting actually. Huh. Regina, thank you. If anybody could help me with what currency NOK is, I'd greatly appreciate it. Again, thank you for the super chat. Norway? What's the... Do we know the name of the Norwegian currency? What is it in Norwegian... Oh, it's also... It's Corona there. So Swedish Krona... And the Norwegian Krona? Okay. Okay, good. That makes it easier for me. <laughs> good. Helps me remember better. Um, some of us, yes, do still have to be in New York for various reasons. Remember, New York still has essential workers and employees, so. Spooky, you live here, awesome. Uh, Sarita's Mac and Cheese. If you love Mac and Cheese, and you just might, Sarita's Mac and Cheese might be the place for you. Um, it has gotten me through some tough nights when I had to work late. Uh, well, we call it the Canadian dollar here, but I assume they just call it the dollar there. 6K for one bed, yeah, I don't know. Today was no meetings, tomorrow I'm gonna need all my meetings. Yeah, Sarita's mac and cheese is very good. Um, I used to get their Cajun one. It had the sausage in it, nice and, nice and spicy. They opened a second one in Midtown, but they Ended up closing it. I guess it didn't do as well. Huh, they have an outdoor fridge here. That's interesting. Oh, it's free food. That's so nice. Well, that's super nice. They set up a free food um, refrigerator here. This is very nice. Super, super awesome of them to do that. Wow. That's super cool. Thank you for the conversions. Most, most importantly to me, I just wanted to learn what the, uh, what the currency name was. And so it's a Norwegian krona. Awesome. My name is not Valentin. There's a pizzeria place here. I think I th actually... Sarita's Mac and Cheese used to be here. They moved down a few, a few to the corner. Susan, good night. Thank you for stopping by. Happy New Year if we don't see you until after the New Year. Josh, I'm trying. That's my favorite part of the live streams. Oh, this is also interesting. Free potatoes. Wow, this block is offering a lot of cool stuff. And there are actually potatoes here. That's super cool. Yes, Mac was just a hole in the wall. They, they moved up in the world. Ooh, the currency of Ecuador. I should know that because I was there. I thought they, they actually take US dollars in Ecuador, don't they? A lot of places did, even though it's not the official currency.
what neighborhoods do I like walking in best? East Village is one of them. I like Chinatown a lot too. Oh, John's. I used to like John's a lot too when I was growing up here. It used to be the Sucre, okay. Yeah, potatoes can do some awesome things. I could go for some garlic mash right about now. Yes, John's I liked a lot. I used to, as a kid, I would get chicken parmesan there. Oh, you were born at 11th Street and 2nd Avenue. That's pretty much right here. But yeah, John's Italian restaurant. I think, um, wait a second. It didn't always say vegan on it, did it? I feel like it didn't used to have that awning. Yes, James and Carla were here, yes. John, good evening. I would. I'm, I'm not sure what's happening for food at home right now. I'll check in with my wife. Valentin, Happy New Year. Strings. This place is also relatively new, I think. Oh no, oh no. Oh, say it ain't so. Can you see what that is? Ooh, Linguini Alfredo, okay. I'll have to try it one time. <laughs> yes, we have to be careful with that ramen. Um, what else can we talk about here? Oh, this movie theater is very cool. Hopefully it reopens soon, but they I think this is a converted synagogue or something because the main the main movie uh, theater in this theater, I don't know what it's called auditorium, I guess. It's kind of like very old school and has a lot of cool old features from the original structure, whatever this was. I thought it was a synagogue. I don't know. Somebody can correct me on this. We used to have a Thai restaurant around here. Cool. These were the new, this is essentially the new phone booths. Are you cutting? Why so much ramen in my diet? It's probably the opposite. <laughs> These are the new phone booths and also Wi-Fi stations in New York. You can make a call for free here. This one might not be working. Oh. That's not going to help. This one might not be working, actually. At East 20 Vlogs. Awesome. In London. Very cool. Yeah, Lincoln Way's here. Awesome way to... Get some fat. They actually are very fast internet. Yeah, I hope they're okay, Miss Astor, dancer. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not too much to see through here, but I did used to see a lot of movies here as a kid, also. Not much to see in there. But their box office was always outside. Michael Zhao, hope you are too. Yeah, it looks like it's a bit out of order, out of sorts. Yeah, it's not a real phone booth. Maybe we'll still see an old phone booth. I haven't seen one yet. But I know I've seen them recently. They're still around. Actually, if I go to First Avenue, we'll surely... Okay. Next stop will be an old school New York phone booth. Fine. I know where, I know where one is. Germany. It's late there. Or early. I always say that. Depending. It's all relative. My favorite thing to say, apparently. Well, it used to be more so when those NYC links or Link NYC stations used to actually let you play YouTube videos. People would take the uh, the newspaper, um, those like those yellow boxes over there. They would flip them on their sides and just watch YouTube videos on there all day. 
I don't know if this restaurant's gonna reopen. They had some good brunch food here. I believe it's from the same guy who did Momofuku, David Chang. I think it was the Sambar, Sambar, S-S-A-M. Still going. Hey, this place changed. I thought this was something, this used to be called something related to a Fight Club reference, I thought. From Manchester, hello, what time is it? Uh, 7.20 p.m., 39 degrees Fahrenheit, there you go. I don't think Croatia is part of Russia, no. Well, not, I don't think, it's definitely not part of Russia, but yeah. Okay, here's going to be a reference to something. Somebody's going to have to tell me what numbers this is from. What show are these numbers from? What show are these numbers from? Huh, Ghostbusters Deutschland, I feel like you ask that every time. One day I will, one day I will, don't worry. Lost, exactly. Oh wait, who was first? Who was first on that? I think Hans was first. Nope, not Hans, huh? Robocheck was, Robocheck was, nope, Lucas was first. Lucas was first. Yes, I remember those numbers still by heart, unfortunately. And they lied to us, I feel like, about their status on that show. Anyway. <laughs> Yes, 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. And the numbers are lost. Yeah. I don't even know if I'd recommend it anymore. Hey, Romanchuk, yes, this KFC's like always been here as long as I can remember. And it's always had a security guard. I wonder if it still has one now, but it's always had a security guard. No, I don't think I see one in there now, but it had one for the longest time. Yeah, Rob, exactly. 800, 582, 300 Empire. Yeah, that's another one. America's definitely a pretty big place, yes. A man's memory is both, both an asset and hip, hip tonight, yes. I wish I could replace all the nonsense in my head with something valuable. Hey, from Croatia. I hope you're doing okay after that earthquake over there. Manny Explorers is here. Pretty cool that uh, I happened to catch you in my video the other day. Hello. Yes, yeah, CB Earth Day. Maybe I'll take a, a trip through memory lane and visit Stytown, but I do know where a phone booth is. Old school style. I will not be touching it, but I'll show it. Leave off the last test for savings, Kevin. The moon is bright today. Oh, gyro. Um, I wouldn't even touch it, and this is not even due to Corona, I wouldn't touch it pre-Corona. <laughs> Thanks, man. I think the iPhone 12 mini is doing its job. It doesn't seem to do too well with lights. They always are very fuzzy and halo-y. That's the only thing I wish was better. I thought they said yesterday was the full moon, officially. Or is it today? No, maybe today. Yeah, I think it's today. Brendan, thank you. Good to hear music is the answer. I'm glad to hear you're all helping each other. That's great. No, I'm kind of going the opposite way of Gramercy because I know where a phone booth is. I know somebody wanted to see it. Again, uh, the phone booth may be uh, Acupado. We'll see. Today is the full moon, cool. Am I using an external mic? Yes, I am. I'm using a Shure microphone. S-H-U-R-E. Lav mic. Plugged into this uh, adapter from Anchor that has both the lightning port and a TRRS port. Lionel, thank you. I know London might be in a difficult place right now, but hopefully 
This helps. No, I used to touch them all the time. Uh, I used to, when I had to wait for my mom to finish work, I used to use the phones and call random 1-800 numbers to see who would answer. I am familiar with the pay phones. Do not worry. Yep, 2020 is soon leaving us. Good riddance, some might say. The old Stuyvesant High School is here. Where are the people? We're in a very residential area here. Yep, Shields, that's what I did. I always come in and hear what the random nonsense I did as a kid. And laugh at me. <laughs> Denise, hello. Thank you. Please, not a dot. You just get ear infections, my goodness. Ryden, hello. Tons of good pizzas, New York. It's, di it's hard to go wrong with bread, cheese, and tomato sauce, but I mean, you could. There's definitely ways to screw it up, but yeah. City morgue, you stab and we slab them. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yes, Kate, but, you know, I was told not to do that anymore because apparently people shove needles in there and whatnot. No phone book. I know sometimes they had a whole phone book hanging here too, but yeah. Um, I'm not gonna find out if they work. One day maybe. I'll bring a glove just for this. They're fiber optic cable. Cable, oh my goodness. All right, that's enough of that. Was it worth it? Hey, how's it going? What's up? How much? Thank you. Good seeing you. Hey, so we got uh, somebody caught us from upstairs. <laughs> We've been found. gonna do another peek in Stye Town. I feel like I go here a lot, but I like this place. It brings back memories. A ah. borrow a beer. That was cool. Panos from Greece, hello. Bottle of wine ready to go. Oh yeah, where's, where's the person in the chat? Make yourselves known. <laughs> Actually, yeah, considering it is kind of like a needle in the haystack. Because you'd think that most people aren't watching this from New York, right? But, you know. All right, who was it? Who was it? Yeah, Action Kid, definitely. But he's kind of become a pretty big celebrity in this, in this neck of the woods. This is a very safe area, even though I was mugged here when I was a kid. <laughs> yes, this is Stuyvesant Town. <laughs> Follow that to get a wine buzz. <laughs> no, these are, well, nah, I'm not going to tell you what we used to refer to them, but I grew up here, but this is, um, was originally middle class housing built for World War II veterans initially, but no, not what you would refer to as the projects. 
Yes. Where do New Yorkers go for nature? Well, Central Park doesn't uh, scratch that itch. They would go to, um, they could take the Metro North Railroad and, and go upstate, slightly upstate. Bear Mountain, some of the parks. Yes, yeah, Town's great. Yeah, the moon's looking good. Not 5G, this is just LTE. Last time I used 5G, it kept switching back and forth between 5G and LTE and kind of messed with the stream a little bit. I don't know how they're playing basketball right now. It's hard to see a basketball flying in the, in the dark. Yeah, originally it was MetLife, that's right. And then it changed owners a bunch of hand, a bunch of times, and now it's kind of different. In good and in bad ways. 5G powers the moon, yes. I'm supposed to have unlimited data, but again, Verizon... They don't... not necessarily throttles, they deprioritize you if you go over a certain limit. So if I went to an area where there's a lot more people, they might put me at a lower data tier temporarily. Jake Rice has a question. <laughs> where are the nudists? Not here. Not at the moment. Who is the government spying on us? Hmm. Did I take an Uber last night? No. Am I a citizen of New York City? Well, I guess I'm a citizen of the United States at this point, but yeah, I also live in New York. Yep, Stuy Town used to be those kinds of prices. I think it's about 70 or 80 a month. Paul Reiser is from here. Brenda, thank you. Good night to you. Appreciate the kind words. Can you trust Uber? I mean, most of them do have to follow specific sanitation instructions, but yeah, many people might still avoid it. Is my family still in New York City? Yeah. Uh, this area now, to get an apartment here, is expensive, I would say. Yes. There's still some folks who rent stabilized units, though. There's the ice skating rink they put in this playground. Kind of cool. Valerio is definitely not that kind of area. Well, here's the... There's not snow. This is the ice shavings that the Zamboni pushes off. Yep, they put up a skating rink in that playground. Yep, yep. Ooh, some people threw their tree outs here. I started smelling pine. John from Dublin, hello. Take you skating. I would. But I think I'll fall with my leg currently. Denise, hello to you. Happy New Year. Pine smells good. Actually, let's let me get head back towards the East River. I think it'll be a good place to end it. I'll show you one of the other playgrounds around here, too, just so you get a better idea of Stuy Town, as we call it. Full name is Stuyvesant Town. Across 20th Street, between 20th and 23rd, would be Peter Cooper Village. Not sure where that guy's backing up to. There's no real parking here except the angled parking. I keep hearing different things about pine trees. I heard they have too much sap in them or something for wood chips, so I don't know what they do with them. <coughs> Chelsea cabins. So I'll stop by the playground up here just to show you an old children's park I used to play in as a kid. Am Shoyer with the 999 Super Sticker. Thank you so much. Approximately how many apartments are in one building? Well, each building has about 11 or 12 floors. 
and each floor has about eight apartments. So I guess like 104 or so. I think one bedrooms here now go for about 3,500, I think, is the market rate price. The moon's really, really acting up today. Look at that. There's two elevators in one building. So dark here. I like it. And this is the market rate right now. This is not what I was paying my mother uh, at all. We were paying less than half of that for a two bedroom. Oh, because they, they do have the phone number on them, right. You can make an inbound call to those. Back to the handrail. Here's another handrail in front of us. Ah, Binghamton. Yeah. Yep. All the areas, depending on where you are, everything's a bit based on whatever factors are included in the reasons for why that rent is expensive. I don't know what the heck I just said. Anyway, Ryan, no, I'm good. This is kind of its own area now. Almost like the Lower East Side. But Stuyvesant Town kind of is referred to its own area now. Stuyvesant Town, Peter Cooper. But it, it's also on the border of Gramercy Park. Gramercy area, neighborhood. But yeah. Am I a lot shorter? That's not the usual impression I get, so that's why I don't think you're behind me. <laughs> yes, Kelly. In fact, you can even get some... Uh, this is all for disposal. So it looks like we have some old furniture. Um, this is a technically considered a travel wheelchair. No, this is a full-on wheelchair. All right. And it looks like it's in decent condition, too. I wonder if the brakes are good. What else? You have a, a rowing machine here. I witnessed a crime while walking. Not, not while filming. I'm also mean traffic violations in every second. <laughs> Yes, three bed bugs. Absolutely. Those are hardy little little critters. I've never I never read a woodchuck who could chuck more wood than me. I always have to read what Roman check writes, it's very insightful. Yeah, pretty much, exactly. That's all it is. I'm gonna head back towards the East River. I feel like we should end it where we started it. Temperature right now? Upper 30s, I think. I'm at 20th Street right now. I do like Gladiator. FDR again. Full moon is scary unless Superman's with you. Ah. Julie, what's the minimum wage in New York City? Is it 15 right now? I don't know for sure. Sunshine, thank you. East Coaster, that's the usual thing. 
we, we say in New York, yeah. <laughs> 15, okay. Sounds right. 14 or 15? I'm seeing multiple numbers now. I do like shooting Cutler Park. Can you even see the Citibank building anymore? I feel like I remember when the Citibank building in Queens used to be the tallest building over there. Is that a thing? Where's Romanchuk? <laughs> yes, I've seen uh, TV shows and everything. Yeah, right, Romanchuk? Like, I feel like I used to be able to look over there and the Citibank building was the tallest thing you'd see. Not anymore. East 20 vlogs, thank you for the 99 uh, uh, pounds, so 0.99 pounds. I don't know what you call that super sticker, but thank you. Some good coffee places. I like Birch, I like Stumptown, and then there's a few other local ones that I probably can't remember the names of. Gregory's Coffee will do in a pinch, too. Sung Hyung, Jake Lee, hello. Romanchek, what did you say? Denise, thank you, a good night. Bought a condo on Perth Street and nothing was there, now, now it's surrounded by buildings, wow. But I also might have raised their, their uh, value. Gregory's Coffee sucks. It very well might. Not everyone likes everything, but it'll do in a pinch when it's between that and Dunkin' Donuts. Robin, thank you. Have a good night. Jake, good night. I do not remember the boat times. But you can also check them out on the NYC Ferry website. Happy New Year. Obrigado. How's everyone heading out? All right. I'll be ending this pretty soon anyhow, but there's the Empire. This is the East River. We're back at the East River. Nino Marocci, $1 super chat. Thank you so much. And East 20 Vlogs is a pound 49 super second. Thank you. Oh yeah, Irving Farm Coffee. That's a good one. get some rollerblades or a skateboard. I'm sure I'd fall for sure at that point if I did. How's dating? I think people are still dating. I don't think they're gonna stop. Might be a little quieter than it was before, but I'm pretty sure you could still... Oh, here it is. Here's a friend. Hold on. We gotta... Oh, he's noticed me. Okay. Everyone best behavior. Hold on. He's still there. Oh, 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 he just went in that hole. Oh, he was upset because he knew where I, he knows I know where he lives. He lives in that hole. He didn't want him, he didn't want me to see him go in there. <laughs> That's right. This is a variety channel. You'll see everything. It was a rat. Shields, you gotta head out. All right, good night. Where are you heading? Oh, you're going on a date night with your husband. All right, enjoy, gelato. I hope not. Well, I guess I'd be hearing my own voice since I'm reading them all. I imagine this is all a voice chat. Whew. Yeah, right, that whole place. Oh, the moon is gone again. So different. I've not been to Brazil. I have been in South America. I went to Ecuador and Galapagos. James, absolutely. That was a Pokemon. Yeah, it was a Rattata. Riverside. Empire. VA hospital next to it. Ah, Gabriel from Richmond, hello. Have I seen him? Yeah, I have seen some aggressive squirrels. 
To the point where they like got on my shoe. Yes. Did Pokemon Go raise their max level to 50? That rat is famous now. All right, I'll be rolling the rat, sure. Am I live on Year's Eve? I don't know yet. I don't know where I'm gonna be. Thanks, Jack, appreciate it. Yes, to 50, oh goodness, it took 800 years to get to 40. It's probably gonna take three times as long to get to 50 from 40. Do I like semolina bread? Yes. Yep. I do like the East River area as a place to end streams. It's very nice over the water, especially. North Face sneakers, don't forget them. Yeah, the $4 a gallon gas. It's like the only gas station around here, unless you go up far north. So they're more like, well, if you want our gas, you'll pay for it, I guess. Alexander, thank you. Colorado gas prices, yeah. But if you go to Harlem, where we walked during the Great Saunter a little bit, we could have gotten gas for as low as that Colorado price. Jerry, you've been in the Philippines, but only figuratively. Hmm. Yep, Bob, still okay. $2 a gallon in Knoxville, cool. Again, some of these party boats. Thank you, Mighty Max. It's not for everybody, absolutely. Still, yeah, I can't, yes, Europe still has very expensive gas prices. If you convert the uh, currency and the to liters, how they charge over there is very expensive. Fun fact, these are the only residences east of the FDR Drive. Very cool. So they're also one of the least accessible ones. East 20 blocks, thanks again for the super sticker. Much appreciated. But they are accessible by the M34 bus. But that's about it. Vaguely, John Banks, vaguely. The wind is picking up. <laughs> Marty, hopefully. In the meantime, go check out these. I'm sure. Thank you again for the 999. Super sticker. Super kind of you. Thank you. I also always show this area because you can get a pretty cheap garage for Manhattan here, pretty cheap spot monthly. They also have commuter rates for people who just want to park here during the day and they work by, by the hospital or something like that. Liam Cashel, thanks for the 299 super sticker. Very cool of you. Yeah, don't worry, we're gonna end soon. I uh, can't believe we're going that far. Don't walk every day, Davi. Um, not every day, but most days. I took some days off, mainly due to fatigue, but. But I mean, I, I do walk, not recording. These are considered cheap rates for, uh, for Manhattan. Consider cheap. Kalanda, you're looking for your bed with your cats? Okay. Awesome. FDR on my left. Franklin Dunmore Roosevelt Drive. Camille and Sergio, greetings to you. Ha! I, I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow morning yet. For now, likely no, but you never know with me. So 
Sometimes there's an itch. You gotta scratch it. Something like 8 million, I believe. New subscriber, welcome. I should fly. Yep, Waterside Plaza, yes. That's what it's called. Is it only 1650? Oh, maybe it's 8 million when it's everyone uh, here for work during the daytime. Is that right, Romanchek? Something like that. I've had, I've gotten on an e-bike before. City bike has them. All the boroughs together, interesting. For some reason I thought I remember reading some numbers in Manhattan being particularly high in the daytime. Randall. Mattel. Thanks for the $10 super chat. Stay safe, stay warm. Thank you. You too. Where do they tape Saturday Night Live? By Rockefeller Center. UN is right there. I do. This is always a nice view. I like that you can see Manhattan and Queens and the Queensboro Bridge and Roosevelt Island in the middle. That's something about like with all the commuters and people working on the island just in Manhattan during the daytime of like normal times pre-COVID there were that many but I could be misremembering. East 20 blocks, thank you again with it for the super sticker. Where exactly am I? I'm uh, by the East River about 25th ish no 26th Street maybe. East of the FDR Drive some hospital and research buildings on my left. If you mean the bridge that's behind the, the water club here, that's the 90, uh, 59th Street Bridge, or the Ed Koch Queensboro Bridge. Uh oh, Explorer, you gotta get that cat food. Oh yeah, the tram. The same price as the subway, I think. 275 at the moment. Lucy, have a good night. Srijana, hopefully you do. I am pretty close to the UN, yes. Thank you, Maury. Thank you for the uh, reminder. Ah, East River Ferry is still running. Always like this pine tree. Minus it being too close to my head. Uh, it should be 275 right now for the subway. With the clouds right now and the moonlight, this is looking quite cool. I hope they do that. It would also be easier for me to walk if they did something like that. <laughs> That's true, Enrique. You always have to remember, everyone has their own story. It's a good way to look at things. I work tomorrow, too. How many miles total today? I am at 16.2 miles for the day. Yeah, I remember when we had tokens in general for the subways and buses. You had to used to get those tokens with the hole in the middle. That was a thing. Yep, yep, Pepsi Cola sign is there.
Yeah, I figured this would be a good view to end this on. That's right, now they have the Omni OMNY uh, tap to pay station to use your watch, phone, credit card with tap enabled. Pretty cool. Yes, the uh, Pepsi Cola signs right there. Look, that's so different than what it's used to. Like, look, many of those apartments are lit up, so those are all people living there. Anyway, I got distracted a little bit by the view. So, I think this will be a good place to. Oh, shit. Excuse the language. All right, well, this is a good place to end the stream, everyone. Um, thanks to all of you for watching. I appreciate all the super chats, all the time you guys spent with me. You're all very kind. <laughs> Thank you so much. Excuse my reflexive uh, expletives. Um, apologies for that, but yes. Thank you all. I'll catch you all again. Hopefully tomorrow at some point, maybe in the morning, maybe in the evening, more, more likely in the evening, but have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.